Well, I thought I'd make a video. It is a Wednesday evening. It is going on 6 o'clock in the evening. It is 5.50 in the evening. It is the last day of June, June the 30th. At this present moment, I seem to be functioning. And I have been saying for I don't know how long about the new four bookcases. And so I thought I would show them to you. This is the first bookcase. And then as you go around, you'll see uh, there's a bookcase here. Now, in this bookcase, I put up there Henry James. This is Faulkner. This is De uh, Dennis Johnson. Patrick White, uh, the Charlotte Bronte, Jane Austen. Uh, you have down there Penelope Lively. You got the South American writers. And then this is Robertson Davies writings. Down here is Jonathan Latham and William Blake. These are kind of, but I thought, I want to get into Henry James someday. Over there is his brother, William James. And then in this, there's the Russians up there. Uh, and then you have, this is a short, you can't really see that much, but Nicholas Barker, uh, Fillmore Cooper. Oh, uh, his writings, V.S. Nepal. And then you guys sort of just, these are all biographies down here. These are all biographies, like a Duke, can't see them, but they're all biographies down there. And then here, and this, you can't see it, but these are all. Well, you know, I could get a lighting. Wait a minute. I got my light here. I'll show you. I forgot about this light. Let's see. See, this is all history. This is all my Napoleon collection. Up there is European, well, the Ottoman Empire. The rise of the Arab. And then all here is like, you know, Aaron Kinshaw, the Global Age, Max Hastings on the. And then you have David McClough's more history, my John Adams collection, and just all history books. These are all my Grant books. And this shelf, this bookcase is the rest of my Christian books. Ones I had in my back room. See here are the Russians, see? The Russians and this is Peter Carey. Well, these are assorted writers. And these are all cultural history, intellectual history. And then these are all biographies down here. De Cooney and... So that's what I did. Today I took a van load of books to the Gateway Center, the Hall and Rescue Mission. I couldn't do it myself because I've been sick and I'm on all these drugs and I can't drive. But as you all know, our children are here. Our, our middle son, Josiah, he drove the van to Gateway Center. See, these books will be going to the Gateway Center. And these books will be going to the Gateway Center. This is all James Joyce collection. I can't get rid of those. And these are all poetry. And 
these will be going to the Gateway Center or into bins and some of these will be going into bins storage and to the Gateway Center so that's it been writing in my journal writing in my diary I'm on page 600 no I'm on 704 for the year 2021 I I'm taking my prescriptions. I'm trying to stay down the lower level, I'm trying to stay out of all the noise. All our grandchildren are here, and it's best that I just stay down here. Let me you can see my face. So it's best that I stay down here where it's not so noisy. Uh, if I get really anxious, I take my medication, I go for walks, I, I pray, I pray, and I'm praying. And I thank you for all the prayer. I've got over 1,000 hits on my last video. And people are praying for me all over the world, all over these churches, and people from all different kinds of faiths, and and I just really appreciate all your prayers. I really need them. We need to be persistent in prayer. You know, it's easy to pray once or twice, but we have to pray constantly. And I really recognize my utter dependency upon God in this time. I am, I do believe in prayer. I do believe in seeking spiritual counsel, but there's nothing wrong in seeing a psychiatrist or uh, I went and saw a behavioral health specialist. I have a, a follow-up on July the 21st. Uh, I'm going to seek some more counseling, somebody I can talk to. I'm taking my medication, going for long walks. And uh, hopefully we'll find what... The, is the problem why all of a sudden this I couldn't cope anymore so I thank you for uh, I sent that SOS I put it on my Facebook I send it to emails I contact everybody I know because I believe that God hears prayer prayer of his people and I know I need to pray more for people and you have given me names to keep before the, the throne of grace in this time of need, this time of great depression and anxiety and fear. And yeah, so I'll just keep praying and keep crying, keep crying out to the Lord. So yeah, I, I was just looking at this book, The Troubled Mind. Disease of Melancholy by the Timothy Rogers and but one thing about the Puritans they didn't know about modern medical like antidepressants and drugs I'm really thankful for those antidepressants and all those things that we can take that the Puritans didn't have any kind of access to or knowledge of and we've been really blessed in these modern ages to have psycho psychologists and psychiatrists and people who are behavioral health specialists and we can seek help there's nothing wrong in seeking counseling and medicine and any anything besides and seeking the prayer and seek crying out to God for him to bless all those means so I, I just want to stop make a little video saying show you the new the new bookcases getting ready for some more books and I have made a, a pack with myself that every time I bring a book in a book goes out I am not going to have this I'm really going to strip it down to the bare essentials because as I said I just really realized 
that uh, there's no end to getting books and I need to be reading the Bible, praying, 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 reading the Bible, crying out to God, seeking Him not only when I feel bad, but even when I feel good that I'm rejoicing in Him, crying out for His mercy, thanking Him for all His goodness and blessings. And uh, even when I'm feeling good, which I believe in time, Lord willing, He will restore me to some level of health. That is my hope. And the Lord does not, the Lord's grace is sufficient. And it might get worse, but people are telling me, I have a friend in Live Journal who's going through the same thing, has gone through the same thing, and he's been very encouraging to me. And my wife's been very encouraging. and. So I hope there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So I hope you're all doing well on this Wednesday, having a, a good week. I'm sure having a bad week, but I hope you're having a good week. And I can't really answer all those 1,000 comments, but I was really richly blessed and thankful for all your concern and prayer. And until next time, bye.